In this lesson, we'll learn to work with the history brush. We'll also learn how to use the history pane as the history brush depends on the history pane. Let's search valley in Google Images. This one will do nicely. Just copy that over as usual. Control N. Control V to paste. Okay, so what is the history brush? Well, as the uh, title suggests, it is a brush, so it adds content, pixel content, to the canvas. But uh, what it does is that it allows us to select a previous state of the image and then paint from that into a newer state of the image. Um, slightly abstract concept, but when you see it in, in uh, action, then it'll be easier to understand. So this is our little history tab here. If you don't see that, then come over to Window and click on History in the window drop down and it'll appear. Okay, so you have to create snapshots of different stages of the image. So this is the original image. We're going to click on this little camera icon to create a snapshot of that. So snapshot one, there it is. Okay, we're going to edit this image in a simple way. We're going to use a filter to do that filter gallery and we'll use a palette knife reduce the stroke size slightly and click OK so now we have this more artistic looking uh, render we still only have one snapshot well that snapshot that's the original image let's come back down to the filter effect and we'll create another snapshot like this so snapshot one and snapshot two. The one is the original and two is the image having been processed with the palette knife filter. Now, what the history brush allows us to do, just make sure you have that selected, not the art history brush. The history brush is to take this snapshot, which is our, the current state of the image. And we can click here to make this our history brush source. So set the source for the history brush. It even tells you in the tooltip. And then we can paint back in. So you see we can blend artistic with, uh, with processed. Or with, um, should I say, we can blend photorealistic with creative or artistic or stylized very easily using that tool. I'll undo a few of those. So say we wanted to have the left uh, artistic looking and the right semi-realistic. Well, you can just come in and paint back in the left like this. Let's see. And that's the basic function of the history brush tool. Just remember, you have to create snapshots using this little button of the different stages so you can paint between them.